All right, somebody asked me to make a video on balancing blades and my method. Well, this is a fan that I've had for years. It's, it's a classic case. It's, it's kind of beat. Um, you can see the blades are nicked up here. This thing, I've even messed with it slightly to get it a little bit better. But uh, let's see if I can get it to do it. You know, you can see how the blade seems to have a heavy side. Oh, needs a little oil probably. It's been sitting up in my, there you go. Now watch, it'll probably, oh, no, won't come back. Anyways, it's got a heavy side to it. And when you turn it on naturally, it starts dancing. Give it a second and really go to town. violently that's shaking. The thing is the neck's real loose, it kind of insulates a little bit, but that she, she wobbles pretty good. Anyways. What I use basically, the, the, the first things I use, before I break the strobe out, I, I get it close. I'm not going to sit here and strobe every little thing. I, I try to get the blade as close as I can before I break the strobe out. Um, so, you know, normally what you'll do is put your finger in the cage and see if you got any wings behind one another, which, I mean, yeah, I've got a couple that are bent way back. And, you know, normally when you're looking at a blade, you want to start adjusting on the ones that look like they've had damage. Don't start adjusting on the ones that had not been touched because they're probably in the proper spot. If you set them all to these, they're going to all be bent too far back, bent too far forward, hit the cage, whatnot. So, what I've got right now, red and yellow hitting my finger. And that's the two that are bent. So what I'll do, I'll bend these forward. And see. Okay, a little bit more. Not much. Not much at all. I'm going to bend orange back slightly and red and yellow forward slightly. Because if they're way out of plane, and, and what I'm calling plane is front to back. If they're way out of plane, it'll be hard to judge on clock. Um, now you'll have to readjust plane and all that several times. But what I've got here I don't know if you can hear that, but it's tapping my finger. Every blade's tapping my finger. So they're pretty close to in plane with one another. And I've still got two out of pitch. So what I do is I pull a little bit of pitch out of them. Which is easier said than done, especially on these old hunter blades. They tend to be a little, uh, the hubs on them tend to be a little tough to bend. There we go. Okay, make sure my plane's still good. Okay, this one red needs to come forward. Yellow needs to come back. Each time you make an adjustment, just about every other adjustment's gonna go out on you. Well, okay, so I've got it close enough to strobe now. Um, I know I have a clock issue with this blade. I've just strobed it. I know wood wings out of clock and it's it's off by a good bit, but I want to show you guys how I do that. Um, as you can see, I have colored tape on each blade. That's to identify it. Um, there's a stroboscope. What this does is it flashes four times a minute, um, four times per revolution of this fan. So in other words, it flashes four times. So what it does in essence is stack each blade on top of one another. So you can see which blades bent back, which blades bent forward, where your issues lie. That's the purpose of the colored tape is to identify which blade is at, which blade is, is 
the, the oddball or which blades out of whack from the rest. Um, so um, this is an old strobe. I mean, this thing is probably from the 60s. Um, oh, there's a lot of nicer ones out there now that are real handy. Um, you can get them for between $150 and $300. Uh, they have ones that are digital. They have multiply buttons, so you can just double and quadruple the speed. Um, what you want to do when you have a fan that you have no idea what RPM it's running or you've never strobed it before, the first thing you want to do is get it flashing once per evolution. And you'll see the four distinct colors on the wings. So, and so if you have a four wing fan, you, you quadruple that. If a six wing fan, you times six. It's, it's that simple. Um, it's all right, so the strobe's actually set pretty close. Let's see if I can get it, get it running. All right, I gotta cut the lights off. Let's see. Let's put it on low. <clears throat> Make sure you guys can still see, okay. You can hear it shaking my entire workbench. 